Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to take an image from the internet and simplify it for our drawing project using Microsoft Word. So first you need to choose your person. I chose Emma Watson, so I'm going to search for her, which I have already done. And then I'm going to click on Google, I'm going to click Images. Okay. One more step here, I'm going to swing all the way over here to Search Tools and go to Size large. This is really important. This ensures that you have a nice, large, high quality image. And what you want to look for in here, you want to look for an image like this, for example, and not like this. The reason this one is better is that she has more values in her face. She has more darks and lights in her face. Here it's basically just light because she's being kind of whitewashed by a bright light. So you want some differ different values in there. I've decided to go with this picture. My next step is to click all the way over here on view image, okay? And then I'm going to right click, do copy image, okay? Then I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. And I'm going to right click and click paste. Alrighty, so here's the image in here right now. Now this is a really big image. And a lot of it is her uh, shirt, so I'm going to get rid of that. And the way I kind of open up the photo editing tab in Microsoft Word is just by clicking on the photo itself. And if you noticed up here, and I'll do it again, up here, a little purple format picture tab pops up, and we want to click on that. In here, you find all the things we're going to use. And the first one is crop. Click on that. Take these little shapes that just popped up. Just move them in. Move this one in. And down here, we're going to move this one up. So it just kind of like frames her face. All right, that seems good. I'm going to click this button again up here. Crop. And that cropped it. Next, uh, we need to remember that we're using pencils for this project, which means this will work best if it's black and white. So over here on Recolor, I'm going to click on this. And click the very first one on the top left. Alrighty. Then I'm going to go to filters, which is right here. And I'm going to go two over and two down to this one, which is called paint strokes. Now it might be set up a little bit different on your computer. Just make sure that you click the one that says paint strokes. So I did that. Now we have some super dark values and some super light values. So I'm going to change it a little bit more so that we get some more mid-tones. Go back to filters. Go down to artistic filter options, which is down at the bottom. The intensity, I'm going to turn all the way up to 10. And the transparency, I'm going to turn to 55. Then I'm going to click OK. And now we have kind of more of a grayscale. We have some some darks down here, some mediums, some lights, and some highlights, which is perfect. Now what I'm going to do is just make sure that this image is as large as I can possibly print it. So, probably about yay big. Just drag it until it can't get any bigger. Then you're going to print it. Um, and you can print it to the classroom printer, which is 115, because it's a black and white printer. Uh, and if you happen to be in the middle school computer lab, you can print to that printer, which is 117. Uh, and then you're all set.